One of the biggest problems when you're launching a new product or you're finding a new distributor or even approaching a new retailer is really figuring out what the best path to market for your product is going to be. Because it could take a very different turn as you know, with a lot of pivots that have made it into the news. But when you're working with a product, you need to know who your audience is. You start with the audience, you work backwards. So finding that audience and where they shop is gonna be key first. Second is you gotta figure out how to get in front of them. So if they're shopping online, it may be a great place to start, but you can't figure out who's going to buy the product. You can't figure out why they're buying it. You can't figure out a lot of information that you could if you did a more guerrilla approach, a kind of boots on the ground approach. So I always recommend when somebody's starting with a new product or has an idea or a concept, you, know, you start with your customers and you find out where they are in real life, in person, and you set up a table and you stand there. So it might be at a farmer's market. It might be at you know, a flea market. It may be at an Ace Hardware. But you, know, you walk in, you ask the manager, say, I'm a local enterprising person. I have an idea. I would really like to show some of your customers if I could have a booth for half a day and get some feedback on my product line. And if you have a product, it's even better because then you can say, Listen, I would love to put this product in here on consignment. I'm going to be here to do a tasting. I'm going to be here to do an explanation and I will get the product to move off your shelf. You get to keep 50%. I'll keep 50%. It's a win-win. But by doing that, you're going to get the word of mouth that you need to get the product into different opportunities. You know, somebody that walks in might be, you know, the public's owner's cousin and you might get a shot that you might not normally have received. So, you know, if you've done a flea market or a swap shop or anything like that before, you know what I'm talking about where, you know, one opportunity leads to another, leads to another, but you're not gonna do that unless you're out there shaking hands. You know, putting it on Amazon, while you might be able to move product, it may not get you to what you need to make the product better and to figure out the best path to market for your product. Because quite frankly, if you're competing against you know, 50 other products that are out there that are all made in the same factory, that are all very similar, it's very hard to differentiate. However, if you're in a store and you have the only product that is like yours in the store, that's gonna be the default. So you have less of an audience than maybe the entire United States or Canada, wherever you're located, looking at the product. But on the other hand, you're going to be able to get so many more stores than one website. So you got one stop for the website, but you have thousands of stores around the country that are looking for innovative new product lines that will differentiate themselves from the big box stores, the Walmarts, the Targets. So start small, go to where your audience is, have those conversations because in the end, your product's gonna be better for it and your business is gonna be better for it.